Hello, this is Michelle Knight from michelleknight.com and this is the astrological update for the whole of 2011 for Aries. Now Aries, this is a storming year for you. You are triumphant from the middle of January with all sorts of wonderful things and wonderful potentials coming your way. From the 22nd of January, we have Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, trumpeting his way into your sign to give you a farewell tour before he's off again in June for another 12 years. So what does it mean? How can you take advantage of Jupiter being there for six months? Well, look out for opportunities. And as Uranus, or as my son keeps telling me to call it Uranus, because he laughs every time I say Uranus, uh, as Uranus is coming into your sign in March, you can expect some unexpected good fortune. Out of the blue, one day, everything could change for you. But it's very important that you grasp the nettle and you grasp the moment and you allow yourself to do what you dream of doing. Uranus or Uranus is all about being unpredictable, being unconventional, allowing yourself to express yourself in a unique way. And while you're good at doing that, there is a side to you that likes to have everybody approve of you and everybody like you. So even though you're a little hero and you're a little optimist, sometimes you don't like going out of your comfort zone to express yourself in an eccentric way. Uranus is saying to you, go forward and be yourself and don't care what other people think. And Jupiter is saying, I'm gonna launch you so you get ready because now is the time you're going after your dream. So be prepared, be eager, and then allow yourself to embrace the unexpected. Interestingly, Saturn is in your opposite sign of Libra. So somewhere in the mix, there may be some people that don't want you to suddenly fly off and do something unusual or interesting. There may be people, particularly in relationships or partnerships, who want to kind of control you or hold you back, or let's not kind of, you know, make assumptions here. You may feel as if they're trying to hold you back, but actually, that could be something within you. Something in you which is seeking balance when another part of you is seeking adventure. And a part of your soul may be actually saying to you, this is it, this is your moment, it's now or never, fly. So all in all, the first six months of this year are very, very exciting. And in fact, Uranus is gonna be with you for a long time and it's gonna expect the unexpected of you. Now, if you're a typical passionate Aries, you may be saying, well, that's all well and good, but what about my love life? Well, between April, April and May, things start to heat up. Passions start to rise. Around that time, you have Mars, the planet of passion, lust, and energy in your sign. And you also have Venus, the planet of love in your sign. So you are feeling very intense, very full on, very filled with passion and lust for life. And also, because Uranus is still there, you may find yourself unexpectedly attracted to someone or suddenly being cast into an unexpected love affair or moment. If you're in an established relationship, that's the time to do something really interesting or unusual and allow yourself to zhuzh up your relationship by being passionate once more and reviving your lusty feelings for someone. And a lover or partner will be amazed by this suddenly and sudden energy change. So to end this year, there's going to be a big bang for you when we have the full moon on the 12th of October in your sign. And you'll be like, wow, what has happened to me this year? All sorts of magnificent things. And if they haven't, you better get them done quickly and ride that Uranian energy and allow yourself to fly in an unusual direction. The general flavor of this year is to trust in your luck in the first six months of this year. Allow yourself to grab any piece of luck or good fortune that comes your way and allow yourself to be eccentric in the way that you play that luck. Allow yourself to expand in unusual directions. But a little bit of a warning there, in the first six months of this year, be careful you don't put on weight because Jupiter likes to expand. And if you're not expanding one way, you will surely expand another way. So allow yourself to embrace the unexpected and have a relationship with yourself like you've never had before. Allow your soul to speak to you, be true to your heart, be true to your spirit, and allow yourself to be exactly who you want to be. Love freely, love abundantly, 
care for people, show everybody your soft side and be exactly who you want to be this year. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, you may feel the restriction of Saturn, but really, as it's in your opposite sign of Libra, it's all about balance. How can you balance these adventures and being true to yourself with other commitments? You will find a way. I send you much love and I'll speak to you soon.